Okay. What general advice would you give to students about the study at university? Yeah. Okay. So I think um, I'd say make friends um, with a lot of people. Trying to figure out who you get along with and so on is important. And um, it's definitely useful to build connections, um, genuine connections with people that could help you progress in your future careers. Because um, whilst you're at university, you're pretty much all on an equal playing field. So um, it, it can help you in the long run if you become friends with a lot of people at uni that you can then talk to in your future careers. What advice would you give to students about to study at Sheffield University? Um, so at Sheffield, I think there's nothing specific I could really say. Um, apart from, I guess, just have a great time if you're choosing to study in Sheffield, because uh, there's a lot of things to do. So um, if, for example, you're not a huge party goer like myself, there's plenty of other stuff to do because there's the Peak District right next door, which is amazing for people if you want to go hiking, mountain biking or whatever. Um, and that's kind of stuff that I enjoy doing. And there's a lot of people in Sheffield like that enjoy the outdoors sort of activities. So um, you know, it's not just restricted to going to clubs and so on. Um, so yeah, if you are a non-clubbing person, um, uh, then you know, it's still great to come to Sheffield because there's so much other stuff you can do. And finally, what advice do you give to students about to study your course at university? Yeah, I think the what I would say is be prepared um that it will be difficult, but um uh, as long as you you know, put in the hours that are recommended, um, you'll be doing fine. And the other thing is, is just, you know, be aware because if you've chosen to do aerospace, you might think it's all to do with planes and rockets. It's not, it's, it's got so much other stuff added to it. So um, you're going to obviously learn about things that are not related directly to what you're interested in, but you just have to stick it up and, uh, you know, go through it. Could you give us an example of, of one of these things that you made? Yeah. So um, recently, I had some piece of coursework, which was to do with um, designing a bridge over a canal. And as you can imagine, that's nothing to do with aerospace. But uh, I mean, it all links together because it was related to composite materials. So um, I think the main thing is they use examples that are not aerospace, but the fundamentals apply okay. to the same industry. You chose to go to university over an apprenticeship slash going right into work. What mm -hmm. path do you to make this choice? Um, I think it was uh, honestly just be because that seemed to be what most people were doing. Um, and I think uh, when I chose to study at uni, apprenticeships were sort of looked at in a negative way. They were like, if you're not good enough to go to uni, you go to do an apprenticeship sort of thing. Um, and I'd say that's why I swayed away from apprenticeships. Um, also, the fact that when I, I, I did, I did look at apprenticeships, but it just didn't appeal to me at the time um, because the, the quality that was on offer were not great. Um, I know that I've had a look recently and they seem to be much better than they were when I applied to go to uni. So if I was to go to uni now, maybe I would consider an apprenticeship. So, um, yeah. So could you tell us 